There won't be a lot to this video, just mostly me getting the body ready for paint and then base coat, so it might be kind of boring. I'm really only showing this bit here because I'm kind of excited to try this new nail file I found. It's a soft foam core like what I like, but it only has the higher grits that I tend to use. So this may be just what I need. And it is working great so far. As usual, I'll just mark off the mold lines just to kind of give me a reference where I need to do all the sanding. And I am not being very careful about it, as you can see. And even though this black marker idea works great, I still like to give it a fingernail test. Because even though I got it sanded down, I can still sometimes fill it with my fingernail. And when I can, I still like to use one of the hardback nail files. Especially for an area like this, where two flat areas need to butt up against each other. I don't want any air gaps or daylight showing between them. So these types of files just keep everything straight. I found a few sink marks. I'm just trying to orient this to where you could see them in the light. To level those out and fill them in, I will just use super glue. Build up a nice puddle and then just scrape it off. Now there is kind of an art form to that because you got to go just fast enough and apply pressure or you just skim it off flat with the rest of the body but not pull it all out. And then give it a few taps and it will dry a lot quicker than just letting it set out on its own. And if you're new to this, I would recommend just sanding the puddle down as opposed to trying to scrape it off. Until you get some practice, sometimes it's easier just to sand it down. Do note, I am rocking this nail file back and forth to follow the contour of the body. You do not want to sand a flat spot in this because that will defeat the whole purpose of what we're doing here. And I do apologize for my voice not sounding like me right now. I have been spending a lot of time outside and it is 14 degrees right now. I think I'm getting cold. So just keep sanding until it's nice and flush with the body. Eventually you'll have something that looks like this. And if you want, as a sanity check, you could hit it with a little bit of primer, because that stuff will reveal all mistakes and imperfections. Now once that's done, we can just start moving on to the parts we could glue on just to make painting and decaling a lot easier. Now 
Now, the uprights for the wing, I just barely tacked them in place with a little bit of the to me extra thin. Because I want this to be assembled while I'm doing this, but I'm going to be able to tear it apart later. If you look real close at the upright there, there is just a very tiniest little nubbin thing. If we look at the instructions, the rear bonnet shows that we're supposed to put little notches at the end. I knew that people have had nightmares lining this up. I don't think they're doing this. If you cut that notch in the rear bonnet, it's kind of pre-notched there if you look. But that nubbin on the upright wing fits in it perfectly. And again, I'm working to a viewfinder here. No depth perception. Sorry this scene's taking too long. So, let's get that other side cut out and get this wing mounted properly. What I did here is I kind of angled them in a little bit just to add some more friction to hold that upper wing in place. Sort of a press fit kind of deal. I'm still going to glue it in, but I just want a little extra security because this thing is not at all sturdy. My eyes do play tricks on me, just so that I'll say that's good enough every now and then, so that was to bust out a ruler. Never trust your eyes. We're within a half a millimeter on both sides, so that's good enough for me. I think this clip is in here twice. I remember seeing it. And I peeked ahead at the instructions and done some test fitting on the chassis. I'm pretty sure I could get both the front and rear bumper glued in place. That will be a tremendous help with lining decals and getting paint done. I got my car pulled in, so we're going to be doing just some very light mist coats, a primer. And those always, my trusty Tamiya spray primer. I think even after that case is gone, I'm still going to use this stuff. Give it a quick visual inspection, make sure there's no dust, debris, dog hair, or anything like that in it. 
And if you had to do any body work like I did, give it a once over just to make sure it's still where you want it. Because once you start getting paint flown, it's going to be a whole lot harder to fix later on down the road. And if you're satisfied, just give it another nice quick sanding and you'll be ready for paint. As far as paint goes, I am not happy with this stuff. We had a very odd like 60 degree day amongst a bunch of 20 degree days. So I zoomed into town as quick as I could. Just got some white paint because I wanted to get some paint flowing that day. Now I've heard if you just add thinner up to that ring at the top, that is all the thinning you need to do with this. It, yeah, it seems pretty thin as far as some of the other jar paints I've used with Tamiya. So we'll give it a try. There's a spider up here I'm keeping tabs on, so don't worry about me. It doesn't seem that much thinner than what it was before. This had been sitting out in the cold for a few days, so you just spray some air on it, get all the dust and everything blowed off. I think I just said blowed off instead of blown off. Balloon off. Not really sure what the past tense of that is, being that this has already happened. shoot a bit down there in the base of that it seems to be flowing just fine so yeah let's give it a try start off with the fenders all the little hard to reach spots that I am an idiot and often overlook and I'll just let y'all know now even though this paint did turn out pretty decent it took forever to dry I really wish I had been a little proactive and ordered some splash paints. I don't get anything for plugging them, but they're the best paint I've ever used. And I really wish I had ordered some ahead of time. And I forget where I'm at right now, since you can't really even tell I'm doing anything. I think I'm on coat three. A white body, white primer, and white paint. You could get lost on where you're at very easily. With that being said, I won't bore y'all with much more of the paint that you can't even see. And the next video, we will be tackling the decals. There is a lot of it, and I didn't want to splice it in this video because it was already getting kind of long. I do apologize, these are taking a bit longer than normal to get out, but I am really fighting the elements right now, and I am getting my ass kicked. If you made it this far though, I thank you. There's more to come.